Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my name is Novan Zukarain, and I will present my paper in 2021 International Conference of Information Management and Technology. Myself, Novan Zukarain, and I collaborate with some university uh, from Venus, myself from Venus University, and some colleague Muhammad Ansari from University of Jerusalem, Mahani, also Professor Mahani Hamdan from Brunei Darussalam, and also uh, Miss Mia Fitria from Telkom University. Uh, four years. Uh, companies and organizations have depended on data accuracy to survive. Data can be gathered from a variety of sources in business, including papers, films, images, and social media interaction. Uh, data source can be in structure and also on structure forms. So this problem will be capture and evaluate from large volume of data. Uh, in big data, data source are assembled, created and analyzed at rate that it's given by data processing for, especially for decision making. Uh, for addition, the business, the business organization, big data, creating the utility for the competition between the company and also increasing the productivity growth innovation and also uh, making a customer surplus. Uh, big data may also help from improve their efficiency, productivity and also growth. And with big data, we can analyze and produce uh, ethical concern. There is a problem in that area. Uh, it means that ethical is not too important to be uh, researched. So that's why we choose this topic uh, about the, how to make some ethical to be used in the data uh, business uh, area. Uh, this study aims to examine the extent the big data influence, ethics, and its implication on business intelligence. <clears throat> For the breakouts, as I mentioned, uh, the problem that we choose is about the ethical issue. The from the literature that we Choose the, there is a uh, two problems. First is the data ownership. The second is uh, data access. Uh, this day, the there has a lots of social media that use. So uh, because of that, uh, there is uh, so many data that help. Uh, that will be created in the area of uh, cloud computing. Big data is, uh, as again, it, uh, comprising uh, unstructured data source. So uh, the data will be providing some uh, information to help organization uh, compete for efficiency pro uh, in their process, productivity, also make them growth and also uh, have the innovation, to have innovation in that uh, each of the organization. Uh, because of this uh, problem and background, the study aim to examine the extent big data influence ethics and its implication on business intelligence especially.
uh, if we talk about the big data uh, definition is a, a compressing of structure and structure data that can be generated by machine or people uh, such as social media CTV, GPS signal and RFID data to support improve insight and decision making that link to adjust cost effectivity creative data processing as mentioned from Bayer and Lenny 2012 and also in the big data have the global adoption uh, pervasive computation has uh, it means that pervasive computation has enabled the development of more than 30 million link sensor for global security, healthcare, the environment, transportation system, and energy management system. And the number are rising at rate of approximately 30% per year, according to McKinsey Global Institute 2011. Uh, so it means that uh, big data is, uh, the, is a technology that uh, trend is now, is trending like like now is uh, very important for business uh, in the future okay uh, this uh, picture is about uh, how the raw data can be used and also uh, in the perspective of the role of ethics so the role of ethics is determining uh, organization performance is must satisfy at least uh, this four element for uh, the first element is ethic but the uh, contribute to employee commitment and also trust the second is the ethics about contribute to stakeholder uh, the investor or investor uh, loyalty and also investor trust. The third is ethics contribute to public satisfaction and also trust. And the last one is the ethic contribute to public value or profit. Uh, according to the literature that we uh, research there is a uh, four pillar of data ethic in uh, ethic frameworks uh, first we we identify that uh, some organization have been sharing and sending data on consumers names and other personal data to advertising the company so there is a problem in there uh, according to the Wilkie 2013. The second is about uh, privacy. Several companies have breached the principle of private and secure mechanism for communication, according to the Raston and Trotman 2014. The third gap is about the ownership. Uh, there is the ambiguity who own the data and what's right do organization have to transfer the data. A reputable platform sold the user information to the advertising company. There is no specific regulation for protecting the critical data such as healthcare data according to the McKinsey Global Institute 2011. The fourth gap is about the reputation. Uh, it means that there is no transparency agreement how the company use and interact with data. It's according to the Davis and Patterson 2012. So based on these four pillars, uh, we read we find that uh, uh, problem that we research in this uh, paper. Uh, we use the research methods. It's a quality approach. 
uh, mean that uh, we find the secondary data, secondary data gathered from the articles of part scholars are used in the study to acquire and summarize the conceptual or theoretical understanding and evaluate the implication of big data on business intelligence. Why we use the qualitative approach? Because it's less time consuming, uh, it's, more, it's more convenient, uh, cost effective comparing to primary data collection and truthfully evaluate and select carefully from several reliable source. Uh, the ethical challenge that we provided is first the about the power imbalance between many stakeholders. Uh, second is about security and safety challenge. The third is about identity, privacy, ownership, and reputation. This means that we, we create the framework of data ethic. Uh, the last one is no clear orientation policy on data ethics. Uh, so despite the benefit that organization obtain from big data, uh, so this is this for is a uh, ethical issue that we research from this uh, for this paper. <clears throat> Uh, because of that problem, so we said that uh, privacy uh, in the ethics, the, the right to privacy uh, is very important. So uh, the right to privacy allow people to limit who has access to their personal information and to have the ability to control the data it's very important for the ethical issue. Uh, the, the issue number two is uh, about the data security. Putting in place appropriate security mechanism to guarantee information provided by stakeholder is completely safe and treated as confidential. Uh, the third is about customer profiling. Individual have little choice to comprehend or question the data collected about them or what does that suggest. Profiling could result in discrimination. Yeah. Bliss of sensitive data results in loss. It means that results in loss of intellectual property, market share, legal penalty, and fines for non compliance and consequently loss of customer and partner trash. So uh, <clears throat> the conclusion is uh, so that uh, we say that ethic is uh, more than just a requirement for a business, uh, but it's also about the foundation or guiding principle toward achieving a long-term sustainable growth. Uh, Ethical leadership said that uh, we said that organization must uh, consider ethic and et and ethical behavior in the decision making and daily operation. Uh, organization credibility uh, today online review sites and social media consumer demand greater transparency and seek assurance on reputation for from organization. Uh, the last uh, conclusion that we uh, find that we have to have ethical value and also an action. This means that profit and ethic are equally important for maintaining company's stability and sustainability. Company must work their profit goals hand in hand, supported with ethical value and action. Okay, uh, that's is my presentation. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, wish you uh, good health.
Terima kasih.